Hi, my name is Indra Dhanush Gupta and welcome to the course on creating smart web apps with Django. I am currently working on distributed systems and have worked with Django code bases for 5 years in the past. I have also conducted Django goals workshops where I taught a group of students on how to use Django. Django is a powerful web framework written in Python. It helps us to create our web apps with only a few lines of code and has a lot of tools available that come in useful while making a web app. The project can be found on the website www.djangoproject.com. This course is perfect for you if you have basic familiarity with Python and want to be making your own web apps. In this course, we will start with the first section where we'll introduce you to the prerequisites we will show you how to install the prerequisites. We will also give you an introduction to how the internet works. We will learn about the common terminologies like DNS and IP addresses. And we will understand what happens when you open a website on the browser. In the second section, Building Blocks, we will look at creating a Django app, learn about what the Django ORM is and build our own Django views. In this section, we will initialize our Django app, create our first Django model for storing blog posts, configure the app and learn about Django migrations and take a look at the Django ORM and play around with the database. And finally, create Django views and configure it to be accessible from the browser. In the third section, we will learn about Django templates and how to use them in our Django views. We will also take a look at how to use custom CSS files and make our pages look pretty. After that, we will take a look at Django forms and how to use them to create blog post objects from the web interface. Once we've learned how to create and edit blog posts, we will move on to the next section on user management. We will learn to use the Django user framework. We'll use the user framework to implement features like sign up, login and logout. We will proceed to learning about data migrations and how to add new model fields by making your changes backwards compatible. We will write our own data migration script for backporting existing data. After this, we will proceed to the next section on tests and task management. We will take a look at how to write unit tests using the Django user test framework and we will verify our tests by running them. This will be followed by an introduction to Celery which is a distributed task queue and is used to perform blocking tasks in a separate process so as the main web server thread does not get blocked by tasks such as sending email. And in the final section, we will learn about the Django admin and how to customize it. We will proceed to learn about customizing the Django admin by adding our custom actions on the blog post admin that we will be creating to publish posts from the Django admin in bulk. And before wrapping up the course, we will familiarize ourselves with some advanced Django concepts like query optimization, generic views which helps us to reduce our boilerplate code, learn about better ways to design systems and the need and use of atomic transactions. The prerequisites of this course are a Unix based operating system. However, if you do not have access to a Unix based operating system, you may use Windows, although using VirtualBox on Windows is recommended. In the next video, we will walk you through installing the prerequisites so that you can get started with the course as soon as possible. And now, I look forward to helping you learn Django and create smart web apps with it. Thank you.